How are you guys? Awesome. That's not going to work. Let's try that again. Push this up. That's better. So again, how are you guys this afternoon? I don't think we beat the past couple of days. Let's try it one more time. Right? I want to rock the walls. How are you guys this morning? Um, it is an absolute honor to be here with you this morning. Now, I don't often give speeches to graduating classes, so I am extremely happy not giving a political speech. <laughs> now, what is interesting is the guy here standing before you giving your commencement speech never graduated himself. That's right. The guy giving your speech never got a degree. But I did, however, go to the School of Hard Knocks, and I was born PhD, poor, hungry, and I had a deep desire to succeed. So hopefully you will find this speech to be a little bit motivating and something a little bit different than what you were expecting. So as Dr. Kaiser said before, there are how many rules? <laughs> Let's say it all together. No rules? No rules. So I want my 2,500 new friends in a room to help me with a Kaiser selfie. You ready? <laughs> you ready? Come on, guys, stand up. Let's do this. are awesome. First and foremost, congratulations on your graduation this, e this evening, this afternoon, this morning. I know some of you never thought that you would be here today, and for some of you, this may have been your plan all along. But regardless of the path, the bottom line is that you are here, and you should all be commended for it. Everybody, please give our graduates a big round of applause. But you know what? Success, my friends, never rests. You will have 30, 40, 50, 60 years left on this planet. And there is still much work to be done. And many, many more goals to set and to achieve. You may not realize it yet, but by being here today, you have already changed your future. In 1996, I changed my future. I was living in New York. Any New Yorkers here today? How you doing? <laughs> in 1996, I was living in New York. I had no degree, no money, and no future. And I realized in order to change my future, I needed to change my environment. So in 1996, I left my mother, my father, my sister, and my brother behind and moved to Spring Hill, Florida with only $1,600 in my pocket and a dream of building a better future. And I did it, but it wasn't easy. Now what we learn in life is that most things are not easy. There will be many, many challenges that lie ahead, but you must always remember that you are only confined by the walls that you build yourselves. The only thing holding you back is you. Don't procrastinate. Don't wait. 
Don't be in a position to tell yourselves woulda, shoulda, coulda. Don't say, well, you know, if I would have done that five years ago, well, maybe I should have did that three years ago. Well, I could have did that a couple of years ago, but I decided not to. All we have is now. Tomorrow doesn't wait for us. Just go out and do it. Don't wait. So to help you on your continued journey to success, I have put together five important rules that you should remember and always follow. Rule number one, find out who you want to be. Not what you want to be, but who you want to be. Not who your parents want you to be, not who your grandmother wants you to be, not who your spouse wants you to be, but who you want to be. What do you want written on your headstone? Do you want to be just your normal, everyday accountant? Or do you want to be the best accountant in town and own the largest accounting firm? Do you want to be an RN? Or do you want to be an RN that travels overseas, giving kids in third world countries and inoculating them, giving them shots against polio, making a real difference in this world? And when deciding who you want to be, please, please, don't try to keep up with the Joneses and all the cars that they drive and the vacations that they go on and the houses that they live in. Because guess what? The Joneses, they're going bankrupt trying to keep up with the appearance of something that they are not. Don't make impulsive purchases and rack up debt trying to keep up with the Joneses until you find out who you want to be and only when you get there and you have the money to do so. I have found more people get into trouble trying to find out, find out a way to keep up, try to find out a way how to keep up with the Joneses and they do it before they actually get to the point where they find out who they want to be and when they get there. And no matter how crazy it may seem to others, always find out who you want to be. Rule number two, never, ever listen to the naysayers. I personally love it when somebody tells me that I can't do something. I don't know about you, but it gives me the extra motivation to prove them wrong. You guys have that same feeling? Some of the most successful people in the history of this country were always told they could not do something. If Steve Jobs listened to the naysayers, you would all not have iPhones in your pockets right now. Keep believing in yourself, no matter what the naysayers say. Rule number three, work hard and don't ever be afraid to fail. Be fearless, but smart. You can't always be successful in everything you do, but you can never ever stop trying. Nothing of great significance can ever be achieved without hard work. And if you want to be successful, and there's no two ways about it, and there is no way to sugarcoat this, if you want to be successful, you must work your butt off. achieve your success, remember that no matter how well you think you are doing, there is always somebody waiting in the wings, willing to work harder than you and looking to take your place. Remain aggressive in achieving your goals and don't ever settle for where you are and always strive for more. There is nothing wrong with striving for more. Don't ever be afraid to challenge the status quo. The status quo is the absolute enemy of progress. 
The status quo is the absolute enemy of success. Be a disruptor. Now I'm not saying go in and tell your boss that he, and she, he or she is an idiot. <laughs> Unless, of course, your boss is an idiot. <laughs> what I'm saying is always look to capitalize on an opportunity and find a better way no matter who or what stands in your way. What I'm saying is be Uber. Uber didn't ask for permission from the taxi cab industry to revolutionize the way they transport people in the digital age. Rule number five, remember to give back. Remember to give back to your community. Trust me, it is not worth Trust me, it is not worth being successful without giving back to your community. Nothing in this life is more gratifying than helping others, especially when they least expect it. You see, success isn't always measured by one's bank account, the car that they drive, or the house that they live in. Often. Success is measured by how many others you help along the way. And always, always respect those who have less money and less power than you. Because one day, you may find yourself with less money and less power. And you may find yourself in a position of needing help also. And that's why it is always important to give back. I'm not special, I'm just ordinary. And I got news for you all. You are not special, you are just ordinary. This world owes you nothing except an opportunity. And what you do with that opportunity is up to you. But when given those opportunities, I wholeheartedly believe that ordinary people just like you and me, we can do extraordinary things when we set our minds to goals and we work hard. Plenty of people sit around and dream, but few people actually get up and do. Be those people. Be the doers. And don't believe it when people say, when opportunity knocks, you must be ready. Opportunity doesn't knock. You knock, and if, I, and if opportunity doesn't answer, break the damn door down. Don't leave your future up to the wants and the wills of others. You are the masters of your own destiny. You are the authors and the playwrights of the script that will become your life. Start writing. And if you don't like the words that have been written so far, remember that your future does not come with a remote control. If you don't like what's going on so far, get up and change it yourself. So in closing, find out who you want to be and think big. Never listen to the naysayers. They are just people who have failed, or worse yet, they never even tried. Work hard and make mistakes. Make big mistakes, make small mistakes, but make sure you are learning from each and every mistake that you make. So long as your desire to succeed is greater than your fear of making mistakes, you will always be on the right track and always remember to give back to your community and I promise you if you do all of this in 30, 40, 50 or 60 years from now we can all raise a glass and toast your extraordinary life congratulations again and graduation on your graduation
Mays, it's an absolute honor to provide you with a plaque for being our commencement speaker today. And, folks, wasn't it great?